Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hogging the camera. Hogging the camera. Let me scoot over. Uh, welcome back to my channel today. We're going to do a bit of a QA and a because I feel like we haven't done one in a while and I know that people like them. So I asked a bunch of questions on Instagram. So um, follow me on Instagram if you want your questions answered. Say hi. Say hi. Coda Bean. Say hi. He does not care. No. Um, how we met, which I feel like we've already answered. Mm-hmm before what is happening with instagram um but basically we met at a basketball game long story short and i think there's actually a video um you're probably gonna hear the dogs playing um i think there's actually a video on my channel somewhere um about how we met but we basically met at a basketball game um people, hey people want to know um when you'll be back on cameo Ooh, I have been long awaiting my return to Cameo. If you don't know what Cameo is, it's basically this app where you can go and buy like shout out videos from people. Like, or if you want to get someone, like him Birth. saying happy birthday yeah. to someone or special occasions, stuff like that. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I'll probably be back on within the next week or so. Yeah. Um, this person said, what's it like being able to see your husband in the big league? Mm. I think it's cool. I don't think I really, it really like resonates with me how cool it actually is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah. Okay. It doesn't really resonate with me, so. Um, how do you deal with not seeing Kyle a lot? Well, we see each other kind of a lot now because I moved in with the, him again. Well, not again, but I moved out here. So the only time I really don't see him is when he's traveling, which he did just come back from like a nine day road trip, which wasn't very fun. But um, I don't know, how do we deal with that? Um, this is our first time living together in the nine years that we've known each other and seven and a half years we've dated. So um, I, it kind of sucks, but I guess at the same time, it's pretty easy because we're used to it. Yeah, and I think we just, we just communicate really well and the time that he is home, we really, I think that's why we haven't really hit the like difficult part of ma like everyone says your first year of marriage is the hardest and I feel like for us it isn't the case because since he's gone so much when he's home, I don't want to argue about stupid stuff like the growing pain stuff. Mm -hmm. So I feel like just getting over ourselves and not staying mad about like little things that are silly mm -hmm. too, I think. Because yeah, then we enjoy like our time that we do have together so much more. Um, okay, so a lot of people asked about law school. Okay. There's a lot of like- Get your monologue going. It was all, are you not at Notre Dame anymore? Are you not going to law school anymore? Did you stop going to law school? Like everyone wants to know about law school. And I can make a whole nother video going into why I'm not there anymore, but I don't want to talk about it for a really long time in this video. But um, I actually did really well my first semester of law school. I got really good grades. I did really well. But while I was there spiritually, I didn't feel like I was where God wanted me to be. I felt like I was actively disobeying God by being there because I was there for very like worldly reasons. I was a pride thing. It was a status thing. Like I liked people kind of almost idolizing me for going and it was really hard for me to leave. Like Kyle knows, he remembers. Hey! Kyle remembers, I would call him all the time just bawling, just like crying so much because I just felt like I wasn't where God called me to be, but I didn't want to leave because I didn't want people to be disappointed and I didn't want people to judge me and I need people. Basically, as I was saying, it was really hard for me to leave because I was really worried about what people would think about me, that people would think like, oh, you're just following Kyle everywhere, which I also want to say, even if I decided that my marriage was more important than my career, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's actually what we should be doing. Um, but that's, Kyle isn't the reason I left. I just like felt really, really deep down in my core that I just was not where God called me to be. And even though I left without having a backup plan, which I recognize that I'm so grateful for the fact that I can leave and not have a backup plan because we're in a financial situation where we can do that. But it was really, it's a faith thing. It was like a leap of faith 
and I left basically oh my gosh they were literally laying down so good and now yeah. they want to play it's play time they say um I don't even remember what I was saying. I don't know, but you said you weren't going to talk very long about this. Yeah, you're right. But basically, it was a, it was a fake thing. Like, I felt like God was calling me out of that situation, so I left. And I know it's not going to make sense to a lot of people, and I know a lot of people are going to judge me for it, but I don't care, because at the end of the day, I'm doing what I feel like God has called me to do. So, that's that. Babies. This is not an announcement. <laughs> Surprise! No. We have a we baby! Have a baby. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I like joke around no. probably every night with Kyle about having a baby, but he knows deep down I also do not want a baby right now. Do you hear that? We can't have a baby right now. We want to wait a few years before we start trying to have kids. Um, we just have never really had our time together, and um, we want to enjoy our time together. Yeah, we want to enjoy it, and I honestly now we really need to wait until the dogs are older, like calmer, and wait until the dogs are like two or three. So I don't think we'll actually start trying to have kids for like another two years, probably. Mm -mm. Someone said, "How long have you guys been dating?" Seven and a half years. And we were broken up for a year and a half. Yeah. So, but we've known each other since we were, what, 14? Yeah. So, so nine, we've known each other for nine years and dated for like seven of the nine. That sounds about right. For a very long Almost time. Almost a decade. Uh, was it love at first sight? Pretty much. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> um... Favorite part of dating a professional basketball player? I think I, although I hate how much you travel, I think that's also like benefits our marriage because then I just always miss you. Like I just miss you all the time. Mm. So when you're home, I just want to just, 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 just. I like it because I can just get away from her whenever I want. Shut up. Someone asked what's been the biggest challenge since being married. What would you say? Um. I don't know. Do it's think? hard because we just moved in together one mm -hmm. and he's gone like 80% of the time. No, 50. I feel like it's just like the little things, like finding a new rhythm together mm -hmm. of who does what and setting expectations and learning like what the other person expects mm -hmm. and what that looks like. And yeah, you said that. Ed, does Kyle miss UVA? Um, yes. Obviously, you know, watching the games is very nostalgic for me. Um, and my dad sent me a uh, video today of the like video that they play before every game, um, which is super cool and brings back memories. Um, but it was time for me to uh, to leave. I, I accomplished everything I wanted to there, so um, of course I miss it. But um, I don't regret anything. How's NBA life? Did I ask that already? Pretty much. Yeah. Good. Do you want to talk more about it? I feel like you should talk more about it. You want me to talk more about I it. I really want you to talk more about it. Because the people want to know. Um, NBA life is fun. Uh, it's a lot of travel. Uh, especially being on a two-way. Um, I'm racking up a lot of miles. Um, flying back and forth from team to team, city to city. Um, but it's fun. Uh, it's cool to, you know, finally be where, you know, you dreamed about being forever, so, um, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I think that's really it. Thank you. Someone said, are you thinking about starting a blog? No, not like a blog where I, I type. I'm really in this space where I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do mm -hmm. because I think... Law school wasn't really what I wanted to do. I just did it because it was what was expected. And now I'm in a really fortunate position where I get to like explore explore, and figure out what I do and don't like. And I know I like YouTube. I know I like social media a lot. So until I, I'm applying to jobs and stuff to do like communication stuff for different nonprofits, which is cool. But uh, obviously like a door hasn't been opened yet, which is fine because there's obviously 
No rush. Yeah, there's no rush, and it's all like in God's timing. And um, but I do really like doing this. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna fill my time Raise, doing this, raising the pup, <laughs> raising the pups, and making videos. And I really, really want to start a podcast, but we have to get podcast equipment and. We just like don't know what equipment to get. It's very overwhelming. Yeah, no. <laughs> to pick podcast equipment. Yeah, we'll probably but, try that out next. Yeah, but I like I know how to edit and I already like have it all set up to where we can post to iTunes and all that good stuff. We just like need the equipment to record. So let us know what you would like to see us do next or hear about hear about like what podcasts you want to hear about and also like what videos you would like to see um yeah uh, that's pretty much it i feel like out of all the questions i asked 80 percent of them were people being like are you in law school still mm -hmm. um which i can make a whole other video oops i can make a whole other video about that uh being more in depth but i don't really know what much else there is to say than it was a God thing, so that's it. Aw, now they're all sleepy. Say goodbye. <laughs> the new hairdo. Oh my mm. gosh, don't zoom in. Mm. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Mm. I think I like it, but I don't know. Alright guys. We will um, catch you in our next video. Bye. <laughs>